In the ancient days, long before the tribes of Israel and the reigns of mighty kings, the land was marked by turmoil and strife. In a far-off region, four powerful kings formed a formidable alliance. There was Amraphel, king of Shinar, Ariok, king of Elisar, Kedor Laumer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Goyim. These rulers, mighty and ambitious, set their sights on expanding their dominions. Their eyes fell upon the fertile and prosperous plains where five other kings reigned, Bera, king of Sodom, Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Adma, Shemeber, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar. For twelve years, these five kings had served Kedor Laumer, paying tribute and acknowledging his supremacy. But in the thirteenth year, they rebelled, casting off the yoke of subjugation. This defiance could not be tolerated. The four kings, led by Kedor Laumer, marched their armies to quell the rebellion. Their campaign was swift and ruthless, crushing the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Shave Kiriathaim, and the Horites in their hill country of Seir, as far as El Paran near the desert. They turned back and came to En Mishpat, that is, Kadesh, defeating the Amalekites and the Amorites living in Hazazan Tamar. The five rebel kings, seeing the destruction wrought by their adversaries, gathered their forces and prepared for battle in the valley of Siddim, which was dotted with bitumen pits, treacherous and deadly. There, the two alliances clashed in a ferocious battle. The four kings overcame the five, forcing the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah to flee. Many fell into the bitumen pits, while others escaped to the hills. The victor seized all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, taking food supplies and captives. Among those captured was Lot, the nephew of Abram, who had been living in Sodom. When a survivor brought the news to Abram, he acted swiftly. Abram, residing by the oaks of Mamre the Amorite, gathered his allies, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. He mustered 318 trained men from his own household, men who were loyal and skilled in combat. Abram and his small band pursued the invaders as far as Dan. Under the cover of night, they divided their forces and launched a surprise attack. The strategy worked perfectly. They routed the enemy and chased them north to Hoba, near Damascus. With determination and valor, Abram recovered all the goods and rescued Lot, along with the women and other captives. As Abram returned victorious, he was met by Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High. Melchizedek brought out bread and wine, blessing Abram, saying, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. In gratitude and reverence, Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything. The king of Sodom also came to meet Abram, offering him the recovered goods, saying, Give me the people, but take the goods for yourself. But Abram, ever righteous, raised his hand and swore an oath to the Lord, God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth. I will accept nothing belonging to you, he said, not even a thread or the strap of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abram rich. I will accept nothing but what my men have eaten and the share that belongs to the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. Let them have their share. Through this courageous act, Abram not only saved his nephew but also honored God in all his ways, showcasing his faith and integrity. This marked the first recorded war in the Bible, a tale of ambition, rebellion, and the divine favor upon Abram, who would become the father of many nations.